Hello everybody, it's me Joe, and I'm back with another Tower of God reaction video, the last Tower of God chapter before the hiatus. Um, I'm recording this really late, um, I just uploaded the last reaction yesterday, and I know this chapter has been out for nine days now, I think, two, like, almost a little over a week, I think, and yeah, January 27th, and uh, it's just been crazy with all the copyright strikes and stuff, so briefly, for those of you who don't know, um, the Tower of God dub was struck, um, and some of you may think that this is the second time because we had to previously take down uh, videos before, and that's not true, this is our first time being struck. Last time it was Ruka and a couple of other YouTubers, and we just took down our videos temporarily just to be safe, but this time we were actually struck. Uh, the first seven episodes were struck, and I just I took all the others down before they were struck. And right now we're figuring out the whole copyright process, and I think we're gonna be okay in two weeks to upload the dub again. But for now, um, it's it's a little up in the air, but I'm pretty confident. I'm, I'm confident that we will be back at some point. Just stay tuned, we're figuring it out, but that's the main reason why I'm so late with this, and I apologize. But we're back, we're here! So, last first of all, who's this goofy looking dude in the thumbnail? Mr. Cloudhair. That's the first thing I noticed. Second of all, what happened last time? Uh, the warship teleported, and I know it's been a while, but I recently watched my reaction. Um, the warship teleported, Kaiser was mad, Evan Kell wants to train bomb, presumably. Uh, tons of stuff happened, and I made a mistake that a lot of you pointed out, and I apologize. Uh, I'm gonna put up the two images here. That, I know it's not Walhaik Song, but that looks a lot like Walhaik Song. Like, it was just like, I thought it looked familiar, so then I googled it, and I I just looked at it so briefly, I was like, it is, without really paying attention to it. So, I apologize for that, I know it's not Well Haik Song now, and thank you for pointing that out. Um, it does look similar though, you have to admit, it, it does look similar. Um, but anyway, let's just jump into it, I, I'm, I'm excited that SIU is taking a break, because he hasn't taken a break in for, in a very long time. And he's gonna be resting his wrist, and just getting caught up on everything, and I couldn't be happier that he is. Um, and it gives me a chance to recuperate as well. It really lines up, it lines up really well for the channel. But anyway, enough rambling, let's jump into the New Tower of God chapter. Season 2, episode 337, or 417, chapter 417. In the air near the station, the worship of Evan and his team. So that would be Evan... Karaka and maybe Karaka's minions? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Are you okay, Lord Karaka? I'm fine. You guys suffered more than I did. Not at all, sir. We simply did that what we needed to do as your servants. I'm trying to... I don't know the all the specific names. I think this is Death Karambit? Was that what it was? Death Karambit and Death Lady? Something like that? And then there's Death Bird. And then there was the dude who had his arm cleaned off, right? Like, Maw or something? <sighs> Maybe it's not Maw. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I don't know. Uh, for now, go back to your original form. I'll call you again when the time is right. These characters look so cool. Like, they just fit Karaka's minions so well. What are you going to do now, sir? I'm going to join the rest of the station. Since I've come this far, I might as well stick with them until they're completely safe. That... Dude, Karaka is actually, like, joining the group. This is weird and awesome. I like it. And what about that Slayer candidate? Leave him be for the time being. I mean, I can always replace him if I don't like him, but I'll keep an eye on him for now. That's that's funny. Anyway, what matters more is whether my master is alive or not. There's no way my master would have died that easily. Very true. Evan, hmm, is he up to something again? Yeah. Ooh, look at him. Oh, he's pissed too! I'm going to find him no matter what, and bring death to the bastards who did that to him. I'll help you. I'll need the help of the elders with the other slayers to do that. Oh my gosh, this is cool! And Jihad. Someday, he'll pay for this sin. I, I, I'm so bad with the low voices, but... <laughs> it's so cool, dude! I love it! We're here! It's the station! Oh, they got there. Sweet! Already? Don't you think we warped a bit too close to it? We came a really long way. Don't you dare look down on guides like that. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's Evan Kell. It looks like Evan Kell is here too. Wow, everybody's joining up. This is cool. Last station, new wave two. Oh, Yuri all locked up. Oh, it's so hard. It's still hard to see. 
what's this noise? Something doesn't seem right. Yep, Obadiah Gustang is here. Division Commander, a floating castle of that size. Judging by the size, sometimes the family leaders use that kind of ship to conceal their identity. It can't be one of them, can it? You better hope not. Yeah, you better hope not. We could die just for running into them. Oh my gosh. That's cr She looks calm though, or she seems calm. But that's insane that like just running into them is like, <clears throat> wow. I mean, she, she might just be saying that, but still. Why on earth would someone with the power to drive a floating castle that big show up here? Huh? Whoosh. Oh, okay, here's the dude. He must be... He must be Gustang. It kind of... No, it's just... is that just Gustang? Is that Gustang? It kind of looks like him, but it's um... Doesn't he have glasses and not a monocle? Maybe he's like in disguise, or maybe it's not him. Let's keep reading. Are you soldiers from King Jihad's army? Someone came out. That hair color. Oh, okay. So he's just somebody from the family. That hair color. Are you from the Poby Dow family? That's right. Let me look at him again. His design is cool. It, like, it, you got, it looked so much like him, which, I mean, they're from the same family, but it looks so much like him. But it, it isn't because we did see, we saw him last chapter and he looked he looked he did look blah, 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 looked different different clothes he didn't have this head thing over him that's a cool design I like it anyway uh, Chon He I like this Chon He better she's not as decorated and I, I like that I'm Chon He Ha division commander of King Jihad's army who is on that ship sorry insignificant creatures like us aren't worthy of speaking his name oh I thought he was gonna say they're not worthy of knowing. Wow. He wants you to hand over your hostages to him, so I'm taking them with me. I knew it. I knew, as soon as he showed up, I was like, yep, Rachel and Yura are going with him. <sighs> I think there's the only two, right, That's, that they have. This is ridiculous. No matter how important he may be, we in the army are following the orders of the king. Do you think we'll just hand them over to you? There seems to be a misunderstanding. He's not asking for your permission, yeah. Oh boy. Oh, there he is! There's Gustang! He possesses an omniscient, omnipotent intellect, so he can get whatever he wants. Dude, Gustang. What is this thing? Is that like a, a guard? Or is that like a statue? I don't know. He, he is like. The, he's the smart one. He's like, you know, when you have the characters in the show, like the 10 characters, they have 10 family heads and Jod, whatever. He's, he's the brainiac, for sure. I mean, he's invented the workshop, right? Or runs it. So he. Oh! Oh! He's. He, okay. He's our. Oh gosh. Yep. He's calling back the the creature. Oh boy. Excellent. The the yeah, the ring and the band. Oh gosh. You brought me everything I wanted, Vermin. Wh Whoa! Gusta. He's just called. He is so smart. But like, oh man. He seems like a good dude, but you he, you know, as a ten family head, he still thinks of himself as high and mighty because he is. And I mean, he is talking to Rachel. So, wait, what is he? Flash, flash. Oh, he's just taking them. Okay. Nonetheless, the reason I'm here is to convey a message from him to you. Okay, makes sense. What? Make sure you tell what you're about to hear to your king. I'm going to talk about our seemingly eternal kingdom built on adventure and greatness, lies, and truth, as well as what's bound to happen someday, and everyone ignored because they were so concerned with happiness, wealth, and stability. King of the Tower, and my dear friends, a rift has begun to form. Whoa! There's the... Whoa! Okay. Oh, wait. So he's like... He was translating for Gustang, and then there's Gustang saying it, you know. This is, this is so cool. I'm getting such a cool vibe from this. First of all, look at these giants in, back here. I would not mess with them. Holy cow. Looks like that's another Gustang, or Pobidao family member. 
That character looks interesting. Interesting design. Uh, interesting design here as well. It's like, is that a bag? Is that like a surfboard or just a suitcase bag thing? And there's someone back here too, it looks like. This is, is this like Poby Dao's, or Gustang's Poby Dao entourage, like his main group of warriors? That's cool. Yep, Rachel and Yura. Oh boy, are we, are, is this the ship? Oh, we're cutting back to bomb. Okay, that's a good, that's good to leave off. Okay, so let's just talk about this. So, basically he's saying, yeah, I'm not, I didn't come to talk to you. This guy, we don't know his name. He's not, I didn't come to talk to you so I could ask you to give us the, the hostages because Gustang just like grabbed him. Um, obviously Gustang, the whole reason he gave Rachel this stingray thing was so he could collect these two items. Um, so his plan worked perfectly when he when he saved her life and, and gave her that. I'm assuming I think that's when he did it. Um, and he just he still still took them, which is interesting. Maybe I'm not sure what he's gonna use them for. But this is interesting. So this guy is saying he, he's translating for Gustang. I'm about to talk about her seemingly eternal kingdom built on adventure and greatness, lies and truth, as well as what's about to what's bound to happen someday. And everyone ignored because they were so concerned. King of the Tower, my dear friends, a rift has begun to form. So. I'm assuming he's talking about the the, the Poby Dao family, and more specifically Gustang, is starting to stand, I think, and sort of rebel against Jihad more, because the ten families have been sort of chill. They haven't taken a side. They've sort of just let all this stuff happen. Obviously, certain members have stepped up and all, but I think this is the first time the family is saying that a rift is happening, you know? I think that's what he's trying to say. If you want to elaborate in the comments, please do. And maybe we'll find out more as we read. But uh, that's what it seemed like to me. Because, I mean, Gustang probably knows about those three orders. I mean, I know no one was supposed to know about them, but he's so smart. He probably has spies. He, he, pro he At least he knows that Jihad was going to target the Gustang family. I mean, he, he must know that. So, uh, yeah, and there's the Stingray. I didn't notice that. Th this is a cool panel. I like it a lot. Good stuff. Okay, let's keep reading. So I think this is where we teleported to. Um, there's Bomb. Looking sad. <sighs> oh, this is another, that's another flashback, okay. Wait. Oh, what, 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 what? Sorry, I was confused. Did this just happen, Elaine? Elaine and Bomb met? Okay, I think this must have just happened. This must have just happened. You came here because my master sent you? Which I figured, because Jin Sung bought her, quote unquote. That's right. Jin Sung Ha sent me to help you. When he heard that you would be in trouble at the last station, I was in this area because I was climbing the tower again. Oh! So he like... He, he basically was like, you owe me a favor. Okay, that makes sense. He said he might not make it this time. And he asked me to look after you just in case something happens to him. So is she sticking around? Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. That's the only reason I taught you. Oh, Tom. Oh. Okay, first of all, that's hype. That Elaine is, I think, sticking it. It seems like she's sticking around then. It's kind of weird that they made this a flashback, but... That, that's so cool that she's like here people so badly wanted her to be with bombs group and um, that's so cool Jin song ah I, I love that they're really focusing on this master student relationship who is this he looks so droopy like a jellyfish in warm shinsu I haven't seen Yurik Mizino myself but I heard all the irregulars are like real monsters <laughs> you must be a bit different from them Oh, it's Evan Kell, obviously. Who are you? My name is Evan Kell. As you saw in that battle, I'm a high ranker. She's like, yeah, you you saw you saw what I was doing. I was the ruler of the floor of tests. But I got fired, so now I'm just bumming around. <laughs> you kind of fired yourself. I mean, the the administrator, or the the guardian of the floor, was just yeah, the administrator was just like. Well, no, it's not the administrator. The, it would be the guardian, right? Or the guardian is the administrator. See, all these terms confuse me. There's like the, the creature. The second floor guardian is his like title. At least that's the title we use in the dub. 
um, the guardian of the second floor. She's the ruler, or she was the ruler, but I think the guardian is also the administrator. But it, it's just that sometimes they refer to her as the administrator, I think? Like, in the dub, they've done that. Maybe that's a mistake. Maybe I'm just making this up. Anyway, she kind of fired, you know, asked for it, to be fair. But I'm kind of glad she's sticking around, too. Like, she doesn't have to go back to the second floor. Thank you so much in that battle! We would have never have escaped if it weren't for you. Don't mention it. Anyway, I saw that you can use orbs. That's true. They, I didn't even connect that in my last reaction. They both have orb powers, which I think that makes a lot of sense why she trained him. I want to take you on as my student. What? 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 <laughs> when it comes to bomb, I, I am much more... I, I try to get it more perfect. You want to get revenge on Kalavan for your master, right? I'll take responsibility for making you stronger. In exchange... Oh, in exchange... You'll have to go through hell for a few years. For a few years! Oh shit, like literal hell. Oh, this is cool! Oh gosh, okay, okay. Is he gonna get trained? Is there gonna be another time skip? Oh my gosh. Oh, we're cutting back here, okay. Uh, Soa and Soyoung? Father! Are you okay? Ugh. Ugh. What took you so long? S sorry! Did you help the- did you help- did you help those guys do this? Hurry! Tell the army where we are and surrender now while we still can, otherwise we'll be all dead! Hurry! He's going crazy. Father... You guys have been in the station for so long that you've forgotten how scary the outside world is! Think about the world of regulars, killing and competing with each other! Do you really want to go back to that? It's not too late! Hand those guys over to the Royal Army and save us! Yeah, he's not redeeming- I was wondering if he was gonna redeem himself, but it doesn't look like it. No! So young! That's what I'm talking about. And so was kind of like on the fence, but sorry if that was loud, jeez. I was just happy. You're right. We ran away from the train and have been living in hiding. But we didn't do that because we wanted to. I hurt my ankle in a fight with a guardian on the train. And so I was afraid I would get hurt or killed in battle. Oh, this is cool. We're seeing them as like fighters. So we went into hiding to keep that secret from everyone. Luckily, we survived. When we arrived at the station, we felt so grateful to you for welcoming us with open arms, Father, and we were so taken by the peace at the station that we all settled that we settled here. Blah. But, but we didn't think we, but we didn't think you took us in because we were cowards who ran away. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. If we have to be cowards to maintain this peace, then I refuse. I'm going to do the right thing, no matter what dangers may be waiting on the outside. That's a good panel for so so young. Now I know! This peace you created is fake! I don't want to live in a world of fake peace anymore! I want to at least fight to defend my peace! <sighs> Dude, okay. That was cool! That was so cool! I wonder if we're gonna ever see them again. I hope so. I hope they don't get botist. Botisted? <laughs> you know how botist was set up, or Betis in the, the Hidden Floor arc, was set up to be like this major character, and then they didn't- I say you didn't really do anything with him? I, I really hope they don't do that here. And I mean, this is kind of like a small conclusion, but I have a feeling we'll see more of them. The cool- I- although, I know I'm kind of ranting uh, in this reaction, but the whole thing with Bottas, and I might even make a video on this, people were complaining about Bottas' inclusion because nothing went anywhere, and I agree, but I do think that a conversation that happened between Sachi, Boro, and Hockney made his inclusion good. Because it showed that these data people, they're not just data. They were people. And they had feelings and, and like emotions, even like souls to some extent. Like they were crying when his wife died and everything. And then like his, how he died so abruptly, like because they all got deleted. It wasn't even died, like they were deleted. It was kind of impactful in a way. So I don't think it was handled perfectly, but I do think that there was a good reason for his, for his inclusion. That would be a good video, like, like explaining Bottas or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about that. And then we're getting Mising and Wangnan. He looks. Is he wearing a hat? I am. I am intrigued. Wangnan, are you really going to leave without saying anything again? He's gonna leave? Are you kidding me? I want more Wangnan. He's my favorite character. Near the dock in the station. <laughs> Look at his hat. He looks looks goofy. We already knew this was coming! 
Oh, shoot! So Veal doesn't know! Or Bond doesn't know that Prince and Arcraptor are dead. Holy crap! The way Mi Sing talked to Bomb that that one time, um, she was like, I don't want anyone else to die, and Bomb was like, yeah. I, I, I really was like, did, did they tell him off screen, and I was gonna be mad, but this is good, okay. We already knew this was coming. We can't tell Viol that Prince and Arcraptor are dead. He's already got enough on his plate. Plus, we have to check whether Horyang is awake. Finally talking about a Horyang, thank you. But, but, damn it, even Jin Sung was in danger this time. But all I did was lie around doing nothing. I was too weak to do anything. I like this. I want to get stronger. Who is he, who is he supposed to kill? Oh man. Oh, Karaka's stopping him. There you go, running off again. Do you always look for an excuse to run away? Ugh. Come with me. I'll tell you where to go. Really? This is so, this is such a good chapter to end the hiatus on and we're like halfway. We're getting everybody. Like literally everybody. This is so good. You mean Kun is almost dead now? Shibisu. Basically, yeah. As I just said, I can't tell you exactly what's going on. But at the moment, that guy is barely keeping him alive. Living quarters in the station. Hots, damn it! Who would do such a thing? And Hots and Kun are kind of rivals. That's I like that Hots is saying that. Kun! Don't worry too much, turtle. I know how to wake that little turtle up. The silver guy turtle promised to show me how. What, really? Yep. He said we can wake up the old fire-breathing turtle. What? He said we can wake up- oh, oh, the Yeon member, I think? Yeah, I think that's what he's saying. Great, let's do it together! Huh? What did you say? We may be climbing the tower separately, but we're all on the same team, right? Plus, Bomb's got a lot in his mind right now. Yes! Together! Thank you! Because I hate that they travel separate. I like, I like that they're temporarily connecting again. We want to help wake Kun up too. That is such a good Shibisu panel. Yes, thank you. This is so good. <laughs> so good. Okay. And we're cutting back here. Okay. Huaryun and Karaka this time. You sure look busy. You. Seeing that you went to the trouble of helping him out even at a time like this, you must really care about him. That's none of your business. You just worry about your Slayer candidate. Are you finally starting to accept the old... Oh, obviously they know each other because they're FUG. I'm... I, I forgot about that detail. That's not why. I'm simply acting on behalf of my master for a little while. Yeah, nah, you're getting a soft spot for Bomb. <laughs> Karaka, oh my gosh. Anyway, do you know how to keep this station from being followed? Do you think I would have done this without any kind of plan? You seriously underestimate the power of guides. I keep hearing that today. <laughs> anyway, don't worry, I have a very good bargaining chip. The ladle? The ladle? So she's gonna bargain the ladle with the ladle? Wait, were you on the floor of death? That's right. Oh, we're getting, okay, floor of death mentioned, that's cool. That's right, Madarako's worship will be here soon. Madarako is the one villain who was in the, 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 the workshop battle. Yeah, the catfish or something like that? Yeah, the great catfish or something. Madarako is like a walking general store. He's got a very special worship. It disappears and it appears and disappears in the blink of an eye. That's why they call it the ghost ship. Interesting. So she wants to bargain. She wants to give him the ladle for something. That will hide us for a while. Maybe shelter on the ship for the ladle? Interesting. Whoosh. Oh, there's Madarako. Wow, we haven't seen him in forever. They really warped the station over here. What should we do? Let's hide them. Aw. Uh, they brought what I want. I'm willing to pay for it. High ranker Madarako. We haven't seen him in so long. I almost forgot he existed. Because he did, wasn't that big of a role in the workshop battle. He's kind of in the background. And his design looks pretty similar, so that's cool. Hum, hum. Invisible area. Oh, cool! So he's actually hiding the warship itself. I, I thought they were going to leave and then... That's cool, okay. Or the station. High-speed warships from Kalavan's forces. Oh, they're not gonna notice! Squadron Commander! Hmm. Oh, he, he looks so fit. We detected a- we detected high-density Shinsu at a distance of around 300 kilometers! We found something that looks like a station! We found something that looks like a station, but then... It disappeared in an instant! What? I'm telling you, Kalavan is the best-drawn character in Tower of God. Like, look, that's so good. Um... 
So they actually did see it before it disappeared. Interesting. It disappeared? What's on your mind, turtle? <laughs> I don't. This is a serious moment, but I, I, I when I do the rag voice, quote unquote, I have. What's on your mind, turtle? I have to do that. What's on your mind? I'm going crazy. I'm trying to do serious. What's on your mind, turtle? Rack. This is important for me, guys, okay? It seems like something strange happened to the station a minute ago. Rack may have said that, I don't know. Yeah, I feel it too. It feels like we're surrounded by some kind of barrier. Listen, Lord Evankel said she would accept me as a student. Hmm. Is she a strong turtle? Yeah, probably insanely strong. Then isn't that a good thing? You want to avenge your master, don't you? I'm not sure. To be honest, I, even if I get stronger, I don't think I could beat a monster like Kalavan. I'm worried people might get hurt again like this time. Like this. Might get hurt again like this time if I go looking for revenge. Hurt again like this time if I go looking for revenge. Okay, that I get it. Took a second. What a ridiculous thing to worry about! Rack? Don't show me your weak side, turtle! You're my prey! I'm going to hunt you someday! He's still referencing that. You're not allowed to act like this around me! It kills my urge to hunt you! I entered this- Oh my gosh! We're actually- Okay, cool. I mean, we already knew this, but still, I, I like getting Rack. I entered the tower because I heard there's lots of tough prey in the tower. Just like they said, this place is crawling with prey stronger than me. But still, I don't want to stop climbing the tower or hide. Only turtles who- only turtles who hide from enemies because they're scared would do something like that. Hunters charge into the enemy's lair knowing they might lose their head. They could even get themselves killed. But that doesn't mean they're weaker than their prey. Prey thinks... Prey thinks strength means staying alive. But a true hunter challenges those who are stronger than him without being afraid of dying. This is cool! This is awesome! Getting some rack inspiration. You're both the strongest prey and hunter that I have ever set my eyes on. Set my sights on, turtle. Wow, that's such a compliment. No matter how strong your prey may seem, never give up and hide. Only the hunted do that. You have to be a hunter. <sighs> this is cool, Rack. I, thank you for, like, people have been complaining that Rack is too much comic relief. We need more moments like that. Oh, we're getting some narration. After warping away from the battle that day, the last station vanished like a ghost. And after losing most of his main army, Squadron Commander Kalavan had no choice but to retreat without gaining anything. And after that day, a rift began to form. A rift, like Sting said, between massive powers that became too big to coexist. Tell me, Vermin, since you brought me three important gifts, I'll grant you three wishes. What's the third gift? The, the band, the ring. What's the third gift? I'm not sure what the third gift would be. Ura? I don't know, I don't know. But three, oh man, the comments are gonna be roaring at this. Three wishes? Probably can't give her anything, but probably close to every- I mean, this is Gustang, a family head. Oh my gosh, this sucks. I- Oh, what's she gonna win? Power to go to the top? Oh my gosh. And amid that rift, Lord Evankel. Oh, have you made up your mind? You're Han Sung with this coffee. Yes. I want you to make me stronger. I- I'm going to hunt down Kalavan. Hunt down. Yo! This makes so much sense because Kalavan is the human hunter. That is so cool. I just clicked. Like, human collector, human hunter. I think they started to use that term. I'm going to hunt down the human hunter because Rack said, don't be hunted, be the hunt. This is awesome. A new wave gradually began to stir. Oh, and then we got SAU. Okay, so that's the end of the chapter. Let's read what SAU has to say. Hey guys, I'll be taking a little bit of a break for a few weeks. Unfortunately, I'm going to be taking a break before starting the next episode. I try to avoid skipping uploads whenever possible, but for the sake of the health of myself and my assistants, as well as out of a desire to make the next episode even better, I have decided to continue publishing after getting some rest. Thank you. Please rest, SAU. I've been publishing Tower of God for a long time, and there's still lots of work to be done. Yep. 
but the hardest part has always been meeting the deadline for the following week's release. Dang, I'm sure. This has been going on for several years now, and I also need a chance to prepare the story for the next few years. Wow. In a market where trends and systems change so quickly, it's still hard to see where this is all leading. And I have a few different possibilities in mind. But once I get going, it'll be a non-stop rush to meet the deadline each week. A lot can change while I'm away, but I'll make sure to be more prepared than ever. I'm eternally grateful to all the readers who have stuck with me on this long journey. You all, have been, you all give me the strength to keep publishing this webtoon. I still have a lot to learn, but I'll never stop trying to improve as an artist. You are, you are an incredible artist. Oh my gosh. Some of the best art I've ever seen. I'm gonna... That, I, 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 hold on. We'll see that in a sec. I'll see you all again in March 2019 when the weather starts warming up. Thank you. Thank you, SIU, for being a blessing. The... Uh, the cool... Oh my gosh. A role model for us all. I think that's the first time he's done that, like included an actual message for us in the actual chapter. That's so neat. And then what do we get? What do we get? Oh, he's, stra he's straightening his collar. Father and son. They look so much like father and son, even though they're master and student. He did that on purpose. I can just stare at that. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Wow! Yo! <laughs> that chapter was was golden. That was a golden chapter. I've never used that word to describe a chapter, but that was a golden chapter. What a perfect way to lead into Hopefully season three. I'm hoping this is where season three starts. Maybe we'll get a time skip. If we get a time skip, I'm hoping everybody gets trained and not just bomb. Oh my gosh. SAU best author confirmed. Seriously. And then of course his assistants. Yeah, love to the whole team. Not, you know, I mean, SAU is obviously the head guy, but love to the whole team for sure. TOG is the most underrated webtoon, has the most beautiful art characters and great story, but still didn't get what it cost. Deserves more time. I deserve appreciation. I totally agree. When, when I um came onto webtoons, Tower of God was the It was close to number one as far as fantasy goes. And I know there's a lot of competition now, especially since a couple years ago. But it it really does deserve so much more. And, and it has a lot of love. It has a huge fan base. But it's the story, the characters, the art, it's all incredible. I swear to the Tower of God, if Kuhn doesn't wake up, I'm going to sell my soul to Rachel to get him back. Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe Evan Kells Flames? Who knows? Who knows? Three wishes, yep. Five years of uploads with no breaks. Can you imagine that? Five years, and he hasn't taken a break. I, like, please. Or if he has taken a break, then I haven't known about it, but... Wow. So good. So good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's been such a fun journey with you all, too. Um, starting these reactions in the middle of this arc. I, um... I never thought I'd be doing reactions like this, but ever since I started, it's just been so fun, and the support that all of you have given me and my team, not just for the reactions, but for the Tower of God dub and the Rebirth dub, it's, it's incredible, and I can't wait to keep making videos for you all for uh, many years to come, hopefully. So, yeah, it's kind of like a hiatus for me now with reactions, but uh, we'll be back soon, I'm sure. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Alright, take care everyone.